Steam, the Epic Game Store, Xbox, and PlayStation, they all have one common enemy that they will never, and that they can never defeat. And that is CoolMathGames.com. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably already know what Cool Math Games is, and you probably have some, some fond memories of playing games on there like, like Copter or Papa's Pizzeria or stuff like Balloons Tower Defense. And I'm just going to talk about it because this is a great website. And it, it inspired, uh, you know, some of my early games, games that I never even published. Because if you don't know, I'm, I'm an indie game developer. I make video games. I'm currently working on a game called My Beautiful Paper Smile, which you can check out on Steam, by the way. Shameless plug. You know, you got all the, the great big AAA games of today. You know, you got your, your Resident Evil and you got your GTA and all this stuff, right? But none of those games can compare to to that feeling you get when you, you set up the perfect lemonade stand. So basically, Cool Math Games is a online like educational game site where you can go and you can play all these free games. They've got like over a thousand games, um, and all of them are kind of like puzzle games, flash games. They're not technically running on Flash anymore since that's dead, but it's been around for quite a while, probably at least like 10 years or so. This site would be used a lot in schools and stuff. They'd be like, ah, oh, kids, go play cool math games. And you know, cause they're like educational and stuff, right? You know, so there, it wasn't like, you know, just shooter games or anything. It's usually like puzzle kind of games, puzzle platformers, and uh, just, just some good, good pure fun, you know? And also if at any point during this video, you find yourself uh, enjoying it, um, there's a red button below this video and it, it's, it's whispering your name. I don't know what your name is, but the subscribe button knows and it's calling to you. The very first game that I remember playing on Cool Math was that, the copter game. You know, you know the, the helicopter game with like the green stuff and you just try and like fly as far as you can. It's basically like the original Flappy Bird. Another one that isn't actually very popular on the site, but that I really enjoyed was this one called Orb. And as you might expect, um, there are orbs. Uh, that's about it. Another one of my favorite games on there was Bloons Tower Defense. Now, you might have seen Bloons Tower Defense on other places, you know, like they've got it on mobile now, they've got it on Steam. They got it all over the place because it, it got really popular. You play as monkeys. Monkeys, yes. And your goal is to defend your tower from a bunch of balloons, as you do. And so these balloon-hating monkeys throw darts, right? So you, you place your monkeys all over the map and they throw darts at the balloons. And your goal is to obviously, you know, it's it's a tower defense game. So you're just trying to pop all the balloons before they get to your tower. And the coolest part of that game was the the legendary super monkeys. Now super monkeys are fantastic. They're they're basically Chad monkeys and they throw darts like super fast. And they they've got like plasma vision upgrades and all kinds of crazy stuff. They're pretty dope. Some more classics were the the entire Papa's blank that sounds bad series and that's it's like a it's like a cooking game it's like it's like cooking mama for the ds but for flash but not flash because it's dead basically in each game you would run some kind of a restaurant so let's say in papa's pizzeria for example customers come in they order a pizza and then you have to go into the kitchen and you do these kind of mini games to make a pizza and you have to make it as good as possible and the better pizza that you make the more money and tips and stuff you get and the better customer rating you get and i think then you get like more customers and stuff and they made like 800 of these games there's so many papa's blank games and uh, they're, they're all fantastic like they're all the exact same i, I think uh, they really capitalized on that idea you know there, there were some other cool math classics like uh, duck life that one was pretty fantastic it's where you raise a, a racing duck a, a racing duck it's where you raise a, a <laughs> A really fast duck. You'll never catch me. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. Hey and so so after putting your duck on roids, you uh you, you train them and then you dress them up in these weird clothes and stuff, and you, you race them against each other, and you try to be the fastest duck in town. And and like I said earlier, I was playing games on cool math before I even knew how to make games myself. A lot of these games inspired the kind of stuff that I wanted to create. And so, you know, games like these, these sort of puzzle games and platformer games and stuff like that, that was a lot of what um, my development consisted of when I was still learning just how to make games. And I think that even carried through a little bit into like my first game, Sumo Skies, which I talked about previously. And, you know, I actually submitted Sumo Skies to Cool Math Games. Uh, they never got back to me, sad, but 
Yeah. I still love the site, even if I'm just still just a little bit salty about them rejecting my fantastic game, Sumo Skies. But I mean, in any case, like I think the, the concept of the site is just great. I mean, you've already got sites like Steam that are targeted at, you know, a, a little bit of an older audience. Same thing with like PlayStation and Xbox. Kids don't have a bunch of money to spend on an Xbox or on paid computer games and stuff. So so you just give them a bunch of free games that are mildly educational and really fun to play. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's just a great site. I really like it, um, and it's definitely working out for them. But yeah, that's about it. I, I just wanted to talk about this site because I have fond memories of it, and I think it's the, it's the best game platform out there, period. No questions asked. But anyways, that is it. Once again, uh, be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Go watch some of my other stuff that I've made, videos, yeah. And I will see you guys in the next one.